but truffle actually goes quite well with certain seafoods, especially smoked salmon. So we're gonna do a smoked salmon pasta. So, first thing I probably wanna do is get my some salt in my boiling water. So make sure that's nicely seasoned. And then I'm gonna saute off a little bit of garlic. Actually, I, not to lie, I'm gonna sort off a lot of garlic, because I love garlic, especially with smoked salmon. And some green Sicilian olives. I'm just gonna slice this garlic thinly. I'm gonna cook it really gently, so on a low temperature with a little bit of oil, so we don't get too much color. And it's just gonna soften the flavor of the garlic. Garlic and truffle is a really good combination. My olives, chop them in half. You certainly, like I said before, you don't want too much heat in this dish at all. We don't want to colour our garlic too much. We don't want to burn our olives. The seafood's already cooked, so we're just trying to heat everything through. A good amount of oil. And then my garlic and my olives can go in. And we're just heating that through and taking the sort of the astringency out of the garlic. So cooking that out a little bit. A pinch of salt in with that. My um, water's about a minute away from boiling. As soon as that water boils, I can put my pasta in. So I'm using spaghetti. I'm gonna drag the pasta from the water into the pan and finish cooking it in the pan. The other ingredients, lots of fresh herbs, some spring onions, a little bit of cream, a little bit of wine, and then the smoked salmon itself, and that's how the dish is all gonna come together. The truffle, like I said, is gonna come from the salt, and the smokiness of the salmon and the truffle is a really good combination. Most people probably in the past have freaked out about having truffle with seafood, but it's something that we do more and more and more. My pasta is 30 seconds away from being cooked. My sauce is done. I'm really happy with that. It's nice and vibrant. The smell is amazing. It's gonna be probably enough there for four entrees or two mains, I would think. So pasta can go straight from the pot into the pan. Don't mind if I take some of that pasta water with it. That'll help thicken and emulsify my sauce. All right, so this pasta in. This is one of those dishes that you would get at a little brasserie or bistro if you went out and rave about it. And you've now seen how easy it is to make it at home. Now I got a bowl out to plate this up in, but I'm not even gonna bother. Spaghetti at times can be quite messy to try and plate up. So I'm gonna leave it in that pan. I would give four friends or two friends if you're feeling hungry or one friend if you're feeling really hungry, a fork each, and I'll just dig in together. Probably 10 minutes from start to finish for a pasta that you would have at a bistro and rave about. And you've got a little bit of wine left to go with it. Not a bad use of truffles, I think. 